Let all those cats old enough to catch their own prey gather here, beneath this here high rock, for a clan meeting. I hate how you changed it. It sounds so wrong. I'm sorry, I will start over. I mean, you can't. Come here, guys! Meeting time! Me, you. I'm Simon. And I'm Evelyn. And today we're going to be discussing Into the Wild, chapters 10 and 11. As always, our spoiler policy is... Spoilers are fun! <laughs> so, follow-up... Um, I don't think we have any because we recorded our last episode uh, 24 hours ago. <laughs> yep. Moving on to fandom news. Uh... Um, so for this, to follow along with this fandom news, Google Cockweed Warriors. C-O-C-K-W-E-E-D Warriors. Don't Google Cockweak Warriors, because <laughs> you get some inappropriate stuff. Um, this is a Tumblr post by somebody. Um, do you want me to be the person who posted it, and then you be the responses? Okay. Okay. Hey, there are warrior cats with birds as the first part of their names, right? Aren't there cats named things like Hawk Frost and Dovewing? And the second half of the name can just be can just be about anything found in nature, right? This is a time sensitive question. And then responses from somebody on some sort of messaging app. Yeah, pretty much. Yup. Yeah three different people. Thank you. Please welcome Cockweed. My new warrior cat original character. <laughs> My name could happen canonically, and there's nothing you or Aaron Hunter can do about it. I don't like it. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I just came across that on the internet one day. Thought it would be good for, for the fandom news section. Well, at least one person on this podcast thinks that. <laughs> mm, yeah. Do you have any other fandom news that you've noticed lately? Uh, not really. Yeah, me neither. Alright, ready to just get right into chapter 10? I am ready. Me, 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 Alright, chapter 10. In which the apprentices go out to be assessed in hunting skills by Tiger Claw. Firepaw is sent towards the two leg place and runs into an old friend. Okay, that's the summary. Yeah. So it starts off. The next day, after whatever happened in the last chapter. Yeah. I don't know what happened. We should know what happened, because we just read it I think four hours ago. I don't think anything happened. Oh, yeah. It was like nothing happened. They went hunting. Yeah. That's all they did that day. Fire pod did chores. <laughs> and now it's the next day. And it's raining. Yeah. These are a couple of short chapters here. This will probably not be as long an episode. Our last one was our longest yet. Ugh. What a longie. Goodbye mm -hmm. thing you sing too long. <laughs> Dr. Seuss. He wakes up, he goes outside. <laughs> Yellow thing was just stirring. She lifted her head and squinted at fire pots he approached. My bones ache this morning. Has it been raining all night? <laughs> That's how you know Yellow thing is old. Mm -hmm. She can feel the weather in her bones. Also, how did she not know if it was raining all night? She is is she even in a den? Is I, it... <laughs> I don't think so. She's just outside. Yeah. She has a nest. She is just outdoors. Her bedding is soaking wet. Ugh. She's just outside. That's even on a day that isn't raining. She's still gonna have like all the dew. Yeah. Right. Ugh. Horrible. She really is being treated like a prisoner. But she would rather get wet than be kept awake on light by those mewling kits. <clears throat> the yellow thing hates kits. Yeah. So Firepaw offers to get her some dry bedding. Hmm. I don't know where he thinks he's gonna I find know. that. <laughs> it's wet everywhere. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they have like Blue Star's den is in a cave, kind of. Yeah. In the rock. Maybe, maybe she dry bedding there. Firepaw's just gonna steal Blue Star's bedding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe Spotted Leaf has some. Maybe, maybe there's just an area. Maybe it's, there's some bedding in one of the holes that the elders elders dug. <laughs> like the graves. Maybe there's a tarp over the hole. Oh, there could be a tarp. Yeah, they could find like litter from two legs and yeah. use it. Use a tarp. You could use like a 
a bag, a snack bag as protection. Yeah. Firepaw stunned that yellow thing, just thanked him, thanked him nicely. But then, while Dunk just standing like a startled squirrel, go and fetch some moss, she snapped. <laughs> More like yellow thing. Yes. He goes, he runs to the speckle tail. Speckle tail informs him that Blue Star wants to see him. Why does Blue Star want to see him? <laughs> I'll ask one of the queens to see to that. Blue Star says in reference to getting more bedding for Yellow Fang. The queen shouldn't have to do that. They, they shouldn't have to. Like they should just be on maternity leave and just be able to take care of their kids and do nothing else. Right, that's like an apprentice task. Firepaw should be. That was his punishment. I guess the punishment is over. That was like one day. Two days, three days. It was four it was, days. Yeah, I guess it was four days. Four days. Three or four. Yeah. I mean, what else do the queens really have to do? Like, I don't know. If I was a queen, would there be enough stuff to keep me occupied with kids the whole day? It sounds boring. I might want to do some other stuff, but I don't know. The problem is, like, there's not much for the cats to do for fun. Yeah, like, kids, they'll play moss ball or whatever, mm-hmm. but the warriors... Yeah, what entertainment do they have? They just, like, sit around and gossip. Yeah. At the end of the day. Mm. And lick each other. Yeah. (laughs) Yellow Fang is going to be ready to hunt soon. He's healing up. Blue Star says, It's time for you to return to your training, Firepaw. But you'll need to work hard to make up for the time you have lost. The three days he lost taking care of Yellow Fang? Yeah. Luthor is really taking no apprentice left behind pretty seriously. <laughs> Except for Dustpaw and Sandpaw, who don't get made warriors <laughs> until that's after. That's true. Them. Oh, I'm sure we're going to have a lot to say about that when we get to it. Mm-hmm. That's absurd. <laughs> it really is. So, Firepaw is going to go with Tigerpaw, Graypaw, and Ravenpaw this morning. They're to do just a regular assessment. And mm-hmm. I made this note just because... Even though Graypaw isn't named Graystripe yet, it just no. thought of it. Graystripe? More like Gray's Tripe. Tripe! Ew! <laughs> spelled like that. Uh, I can just imagine reading that when I'm young and reading it like that. Gray's Tripe, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yuck! <laughs> Yuck. That's funny, though. Anyways... Blue Star says, now join your companions. I expect they're waiting for you. Thank you, Blue Star, Firepaw mewed. He turned with a flick of his tail and darted toward his den. So, are his companions in the den still then? Yeah, why did he go to his den? Yeah. Shouldn't he go to meet the other warriors, the apprentices? <clears throat> they must not be. Because then there's like a, I don't know if it's just a space in the, my <sighs> document or if it's an actual chapter break. But then it says, Blue Star was right. Graypaw and Ravenpaw were both waiting for him by their favorite tree stump. Okay, is the tree stump the den? Or is it just their favorite tree stump to hang out by? It's so confusing. Because I feel like their favorite tree stump, like this is out in the forest, is what it seems. Right? If that is a break, then his den wouldn't be the tree stump. (gasps) No, wait. What? Come on, we should get going, urge Ravenpaw. Blah, blah, blah. The three cats trotted through the gorse track and out of the camp. Oh, so they were in the camp. So the tree stump is in the camp. So, why would they... This is so confusing. (sighs) Dart toward his den, both waiting for him by their favorite tree stump. Is it the same? Why would their favorite tree stump be referred to as that rather than their den if it's their den? What is going on? (laughs) I don't think he's their den. I, I think they probably... Sleep under a bush. Yeah. So then why was he going back to his den? To brush his teeth. I don't know. <laughs> he does, there's nothing that he needs to get. <laughs> they cat. don't carry things. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's taking a nap. <laughs> Maybe. There's, what else is there for him to get except more sleep? Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Well, that's pretty weird. 
Did you want to say about the favorite tree stump, or is that it? That's it. Okay. All right. So, yes, they're leaving the camp. They go to the Sandy Hollow. And Tiger Claw's not there yet, so they have some time to themselves first. And it's cold, so their fur is fluffed up against the chill. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, I love when cats do that. <laughs> I love when they're scared or hostile, and they really get fluffed up. <laughs> have you ever seen Misty do that? Yeah. Oh. It's not fun. <laughs> For Misty, anyway. Oh. It is kind of cute. <laughs> So they're in homeroom, mm-hmm. <laughs> and Ravenpaw is looking kind of worried, as he does, facing. He says. Firepaw says. Yeah, Firepaw says, are you worried about the assessment? Firepaw asks Ravenpaw as the young cat patted backward and forward with quick, nervous paw steps. There's no need to beat your tiger claws apprentice, after all. What? Uh, that sounds like reason to be worried to me. Yeah. Even from Firepaw, who doesn't know that Tigerclaw killed Redtail. He knows what Tigerclaw is like. Why would he say that? Hmm. Look, I don't understand it. I guess he's trying to say that Tigerclaw wants to have a good report to tell Blue Star. Hmm. Like, oh, look, my apprentice did so well. But that's not how Tigerclaw is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's move on. By the time Tigerclaw had arrived, the sky had changed. The clouds looked less like thick gray fur and more like the soft white balls of down that queens used to line the nests of their newborns. What's that? Well, it's, it's the small, warm feathers from inside the bird. It is actually bird feathers, you think? Bird down? Yeah. Or oh, maybe cool. cats actually pull fur from their chest and bellies to warm the nest of their mewlings. Oh. Rabbits do that. Yeah, rabbits do Did that. Did you see my nest? I saw it. It's full of fur. Yeah. That sounds really comfortable, though. <laughs> I want to have a den like that. Yeah! It's hard to breathe, though, because all the hair gets in your nose. No. So Tiger Claw actually gets there finally. Jeez, what a tardy Tiger Claw. For real. He says, And whatever you catch will be added to the supplies in camp. Which I thought was a weird way to refer to fresh kill. The supplies. It's just food. <laughs> like, they do have a large stockpile. True. It's gonna go bad. And of course whatever you catch will be added to the supplies in the camp. But Where else would just, it go? You can't just eat them. Yeah. Tiger Claw is telling them where they'll each go. Raven Paw, you will follow the trail beyond the Great Sycamore. As far as the snake rocks, that should be easy enough for your pitiful skills. Rude. You, Graypaw, Tiger Claw continued, will take the route along the stream as far as the Thunderpath. Great, mewed Graypaw. Wet paws for me. <laughs> Tiger Claw stared, silenced him. <laughs> and finally, you, Firepaw, what a shame your great mentor couldn't be here today to witness your performance for herself. You shall take the route through the tall pines, past the tree-cut place, to the woods beyond. Mm. And remember, Tigerclaw finished, fixing them all with his pale-eyed stare. I shall be watching all of you. Then they all leave. Oh no, then Ravenpaw sprints away. Tigerclaw kind of just goes into the woods. I don't know why I think Snake Rocks is an easy route, mewed Graypaw. The place is crawling with adders. Birds and mice stay away from there because there are so many snakes. Yeah, it sounds a little suspicious to send your apprentice there. It does. Of course the place is crawling with adders, though. It's called Snake Rocks? Or is it called Snaker Ox? Snaker Ox. <laughs> it's like Gray's Tripe. <laughs> yeah. Gray's Tripe and Snaker Ox. Gray's Tripe doesn't want Ravenpaw to hunt as Snaker Ox. <laughs> so Firepaw goes off. It felt strange to be going in this direction, toward the two-legged place he had been raised in. Yeah, he's going home. Oh yeah, he is going home. Exciting. I guess he in the two months he's never really been back over there. I don't know. I guess. I don't know. He's also, so he's at the tall pines. He looked through the straight rows of trees, across the flat forest floor, etc. So it is a tree farm for sure. 
Yeah. Straight rows of trees. No, no one just has trees grow like that. On yeah, their own. it doesn't happen. Well, maybe it does. I don't think it happens. Only magic. Oh, he caught a mouse. He caught it apparently with one paw and killed it swiftly. <laughs> That's really impressive. My cat doesn't can't even catch a mouse if she uses her, both paws and her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, she catches hardly. it and then she lets it go. Hmm. How did he do that? So really amazing. He he like kind of just batted at it, I guess. Uh, and then I guess he like, caught it with one paw and then I don't know. Bit its head, twisted it. I mean, How does it die? Yeah, I don't know. He killed it swiftly somehow. Then he buried it so he could pick it up on his return journey. <laughs> don't, don't forget, forget it. it. <laughs> yeah. Firepaws walking through tall pines. The ground here was deeply rutted by the tracks of the huge two legged monster that tore down the trees. Mm. So that's more evidence that it's a tree farm. Yes. Tree cut place. And it's not a chainsaw. We, we're pretty sure now it's not a chainsaw. Yeah. It's a big monster. Yeah, it's a monster. Let's just call it what it is. <laughs> Firepaw followed the deep tracks, jumping across the ruts. They were half filled with rain, which made him feel thirsty. Mm. He, was <laughs> <laughs> he was tempted to stop and take a few mouthfuls, but he hesitated. One lap of that muddy trench water, and he'd taste the monster's foul-smelling tracks for days. <laughs> just thought that was funny. It, yeah. Why would you want to drink that gross? I mean, it made him feel thirsty. Yeah. Um, Starting to recognize some scents from his old area, and he does get some fresher water. Good for him. Yes. Ahead, Firepaw could smell two legs and hear their voices, loud and raucous like crows. It was a group of young two legs playing in the woods. So there are even children who live in Chelford. Like, children live there. I think if I grew up there, I would for sure have discovered the camp. Yeah, you don't just, like, be there and not go explore the woods. Yeah, obviously. And it's not like it's huge tract of land. Like. Yeah. I mean, a cat can patrol it in a day. Yeah. I'm sure. Fairly small. I'd for sure have found it. Like, just gonna <laughs> say it. <laughs> so, Firefly is staying alert, not just for two legs, but also because Tiger Claw might be somewhere nearby. Um, yeah. But, like, how is Tiger Claw tracking all three of them? And is he really so much more skilled that he can watch all of them and none of them can sense that he's there? Right, because they all got sent off in completely opposite directions. Can he teleport? He's just watching Firepaw. I mean, yeah. Honestly, maybe. I think so. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> and then Firepaw senses movement out of the corner of his eye. At first he thought it was Tiger Claw's dark brown fur, but then he saw a flash of white. He stopped, crouched, and inhaled deeply. <laughs> the smell was unfamiliar. It was a cat. But not a Thunderclan cat. Firepaw felt his fur bristle with the instincts of a clan warrior. He would have to chase the intruder out of the Thunderclan territory. How the tables have turned. <laughs> <laughs> then it says Firepaw watched the creature moving through the undergrowth. It says creature, though? But it's, it's a, a cat. cat. <laughs> Firepaw leaps. The black and white cat jumped into the air, terrified, and raced away through the trees. Firepaw gave chase. It's a kitty pet, he thought, as he raced through the undergrowth, smelling its fear scent. In my territory. I don't love that he does that. Like He should remember what it was like from two moons ago. Yeah, the same thing happened to him. Like, kind of rude. Although, how did he know it was a kitty pet right away? I guess he could recognize something by the scent. It was supposed to be unfamiliar. Unfamiliar, but still kitty pet-like, maybe? I guess. Whatever. All kitty pets smell like... Those dry, tasteless kibbles. Yeah. And acrid two-leg water. <laughs> acrid. Or whatever. Yeah, they always use that word. <laughs> Firepaw catches this cat. Just like he caught that mouse. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> a little more 
not as smoothly. Yeah. <laughs> Something yeah. seemed familiar somehow. He doesn't recognize the scent, he thought, searching his memory. And then it came to him. Smudge, he meowed out loud. Finally, yeah. It's only been two moons, once again, I'll say. Do you remember who Smudge is? Do I remember, <laughs> who, I remember who Smudge is? Are you kidding me? Actually, uh, I just read chapter of Smudge in my Warriors discussion group at school. So. Oh my gosh, you have a Warriors discussion uh, Is it thriving? It's gaining members each and every day. Ah! Can we do it? Can I go? Can I go? I don't know. Let's talk about that later. Are you interested in hearing about how I want to be part of a discussion group, listeners? Do you want to hear more about that? Hello? <laughs> Anybody there? <laughs> Man, I thought you'd been awfully quiet in this conversation. <laughs> um. <laughs> How how do you do, do you know my name? Stammered Smudge, still crouching. Uh, I hate reading the shivers. It's difficult to read. I actually messed it up a little bit. Do you want to try? No, I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> it's me, Fire Pum meowed. The house cat looked confused. We were kittens together. I lived in the garden next to you. Fire Pum insisted. I love when they use the word kittens. I know. <laughs> Rusty, mule smudge in disbelief, is that you? Did you find the wildcats again, or are you living with new housefolk? You must be if you're still alive. <laughs> it's so silly. As if cats don't live in the wild regularly. Which smudge knew about before, too. <laughs> hmm. It's funny that smudge also did not recognize Firebomb. Yeah. And he's supposed to have such a distinctive flame-colored pelt. It's not only flame-colored, but it's literally flame. <laughs> Just like Yellow Fang's pelt is yellow. It's literally yellow. Blue Stars is blue. <laughs> yellow Fang's pelt is yellow? There is yellow. There is a yellow cat in A Vision of Shadows. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Which is kind of a weird color for a cat. It's really yellow, not just like sandstorm, like the pale ginger. Yeah, I don't know. It's described as yellow. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. That wall is yellow. It's not the same color as cats, though. No. <laughs> I don't need two legs to feed me, Firepaw replied. I've got a whole forest of food to eat. Oh, but he can't. Cause <laughs> he, he, doesn't, just... <laughs> he doesn't eat trees. <laughs> <laughs> And he's not allowed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't eat plants. <laughs> <laughs> he eats herbs. <laughs> he might eat an herb. Yeah, he could. He might eat some um what do you describe poppy seeds as? Seeds. Topping, yeah, they're just seeds. He's not a bird. <laughs> bird food. Poppy <laughs> seeds are bird food. <laughs> Firepaw notices something. Slightly different about Smudge. You've been to the cutter, he gasped. I mean, the vet. Mm -hmm. Smudge shrugged his plump black shoulder. So, he mewed. Firepaw was speechless, so Blue Star was right. Oh, wow. Yeah. He got neutered. Just in time that Firepaw left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. I mean, Firepaw, like, I mean, Rusty was already six moons old. Like, that's time, isn't it? Yeah. So Smudge has plump black shoulders now. Oh, yeah. Did he gain weight? Well, he's neutered, so, yeah. <laughs> George is looking thin, though, and he was neutered, wasn't he? Yeah, he's neutered. He's not eating enough. But he's like, who would really just say so after they get neutered against their will? <laughs> I'd be pretty annoyed. <laughs> Annoyed. More than annoyed, actually. Uh, ow. Hmm. This, this is a pretty nice, profound passage. Would you like to read it? Ugh. Okay. Firepaw thought for a moment about... Oh. About last night, sleeping in a damp den. He thought about mouse bile and clearing away yellow things dirt and trying to please both Lionheart and Tigerclaw at once during training. He remembered the teasing he suffered about his kitty pet blood. 
Then he remembered the thrill of his first catch, of charging through the forest in pursuit of a squirrel, and of warm evenings beneath the stars sharing tongues with his friend. I know who I am now, he meowed simply. Very simple and profound. <laughs> Squatch is just confused, but it's a meal time for him, so he leaves. <laughs> 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 but before they go, Firepaw says, And stay alert. There may be another cat in the area who is not as fond of kitty pets, I mean house cats, as I am. And he probably heard him say that, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Although he could be talking about long tail. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow I don't think so, though. <laughs> Firepod turns his tail high, started back towards his own home. He's planning on hunting some more. He's feeling happy and energetic, and feeling lucky for his current life. Now he just needs to impress Blue Star and Tiger Claw, and the day would be perfect, except for the bad weather, which he has forgotten about. <laughs> You're right. End of chapter 10. Well, that was the chapter. And then chapter 11 opens with yet another Chaffinch. Summary? <laughs> I love chaffinches. Um, so what chapter 11, the summary, is as follows. Apparently, Tiger Claw saw Firepot talking to Smudge. Blue Star gave him a little talking to about that. Then she says, Firepot, Graypot, and Ravenpot will be going to the gathering. Firepot wonders why Tiger Claw sent him so close to the two leg place in the first place. Indeed. We <laughs> continue where we left off pretty much. Firepower returning with a chaffinch grips from Gudun's teeth. Another one. How many chaffinches live in this forest? My goodness. He's the first one back. Yeah, but I've got loads more prey to fetch. Firepower mewed quickly. I bury it back. <laughs> I know exactly what you did, Tiger Claw growled. I've been watching you. <laughs> Yeah. Yikes! <laughs> I know, right? That's very sinister. Grace Ripe, or Graypaw returns with a squirrel. <laughs> Yuck, he's fat. Squirrels are too furry. I'll be picking hairs out of my teeth all evening. Oh, yikes. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. The tails certainly are furry. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the rest of them. No yeah. furrier than a rabbit. I wonder if these are the red squirrels. Oh. I don't feel like looking it up. Hmm. <laughs> Ravenpaw's still not back. But what if he's been bitten by an adder? Firepaw protested. Then it's his own fault, Tigerclaw replied coldly. There's no room for fools in ThunderClan. Outrageous! Tigerclaw sent Ravenpaw to Snake Rock! He's the fool! He is so unreasonable. Just, ugh. How Isn't it foolish to get all your nine lives taken away in one swipe? Oh, what way? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how Tiger Claw even became deputy when he says things like that. No, like, I do question Blue Star's judgment in making him the deputy, like... Especially because Blue Star, like, saw him do pretty bad things, like, when he attacked Scourge, when Scourge was a kid. Oh, wow. And just, like, things like that. that. His Thistleclaw was Tigerclaw's mentor. Right. And, you know, how Blue Star felt about Thistleclaw. Yeah. Hmm. And Tigerclaw's always been like Thistleclaw. Totally, yeah. I guess, I mean, there was White Storm. Just make White Storm a bit. Right, White Storm would have been a good choice. Although everyone she chose died, so. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Although she probably didn't want a snake to be deputy. <laughs> One of the adders that Ravenpaw caught. <laughs> you remember your theory about White Storm being a snake? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was referencing. I'm sorry, I didn't get it at first. Oh, my God. <laughs> Firepaw was the first to scent Ravenpaw's arrival. He jumped to his paws as the black cat leapt into the clearing, looking unusually pleased with himself. Dangling from his mouth was the long, diamond patterned body of an adder. Ravenpaw, are you okay? Firepaw called. Yeah. He caught an adder. That's amazing. 
I couldn't catch an adder. No. I would run away from it. Tiger Hawk fixed all three excited apprentices with a cold stare. Come on, he said shortly. Let's collect the rest of your prey and get back to camp. Why did he like that? Because Raven Pod doesn't die. <laughs> that no. shouldn't put him in a bad mood. I know. Anyways, I'm going to Google, do cats eat snakes? Great Paul actually asked that same question. And his answer was yuck. Yes. yes! Cats do eat snakes and vice versa. <laughs> cats in particular love to hunt, chase, and kill slithering and wriggly creatures. And snakes fit perfectly with the description. <laughs> they sure do. Huh. What happens if a cat eats a snake? If a cat eats a snake, there may be complications if it is poisonous. <laughs> if not, the most that could happen is bacteria getting into your cat's digestive tract. That can happen with any entire yeah. animal that they eat. I was on Instagram, and I saw someone on their story posted a thing about, like, oh, watch out, make sure your cats don't eat these things. Most of it was regular stuff like chocolate and raisins. Uh -huh. But then they also included, like, raw meat. What? And, like, eggs and milk and stuff. Okay. Which, like, milk, I hear, isn't good for them. But, like, meat and eggs, they're in cat food. That's Raw true. meat. That's, That's all cats eat. That is their diet. That's literally their diet. <laughs> Why would that... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they're back into camp now. They have a lot of food. I wonder if Ravenpaw caught anything other than snake. No, we didn't hear about it, yeah. but... But the snake is probably a lot of food. I wonder <laughs> who's... I don't know if we ever hear about who eats it. It gets eaten. Well, it gets put on the stump, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Ravenpaw keeps tripping over his dead snake. <laughs> <laughs> and then some kits um, notice them walking by. Isn't that the kitty pet firepaw? Squeaked the gray kit. Yeah, look at his orange fur, mewed the black one. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's, like, barely any cats in the clan. How do you not know them all by name? <laughs> well, they are just wee kits. But they know about Firepaw. And they recognize him. Yeah. The black one did, at least. Yeah. Hmm. They're talking like kits do, boasting about how they're going to be the best warrior in the clan. Blah, blah, blah. Great paws again. Astonished and complimenting Ravenpaw. Can you eat adders? Asked Graypaw. Trust you to think of your stomach, Firepaw joked. Butting Graypaw with his head. Wow. Like a goat. That is like a goat. <laughs> yeah. I can oh. picture George butting a cat with his head, though. Yeah. He does that. But Ravenpaw says his mouth tastes pretty foul after carrying it back. Hmm. And then Graypaw, like we said, puts it on the tree stump. Carefully placing the adder on the stump, arranging the stake so it can be clearly seen from all sides. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. They ate, they're sharing tongues. Talking about who's going to go to the gathering. Sandpaw and Dustpaw have been twice. Um, they haven't been at all, I guess. Yeah, never. Firepaw's saying how it's going to be an important gathering because the first once Wind Clan disappeared. Mm. And Tiger Claw shows up. You are right, youngster. Yeah. By the way, Firepaw, Blue Star wants to see you. <laughs> I really hate how, like, this style of speech that the senior warriors and the elders use. Like, you are right, youngster. <laughs> well, I like it when Purdy says it. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> Purdy is the only one who would say it. <laughs> so, Blue Star, you know. It's not just a regular mentor-apprentice meeting. No. Tigerclaw has told me that he saw you talking with the cat from the Tulek place today, she meowed quietly. Yikes. Mm. He said that you began fighting with his cat, but ended up sharing tongues with it. Did they really share tongues? Or just, like, barely? I mean, we didn't hear about any licking. Yeah. Maybe just, like, a little bit. Like, once. You know, like... <laughs> one lick. Just like on the head or something. <laughs> Between the ears, you know, whatever. Mm, yeah, okay. So then, Blue Star looked at him for a long moment. 
Do you miss your old life, Firepaw? She asked. Think carefully now. Mm, no, Firepaw says. How can Blue Star think that? Firepaw wondered. His head was spinning. What was Blue Star trying to make him say? Do you wish to leave the clan? Of course not. Firepaw was shocked by her question. Blue Star didn't seem to hear the passion in his answer. She shook her head, looking suddenly old and tired. I won't judge you if you leave us, Firepaw. Perhaps I expected too much of you. Perhaps my judgment has been clouded by the clan's need for new warriors. Panic swept through Firepaw at the thought of leaving the clan forever. But my place is here. This is my home, he protested. So, this and Blue Star's reaction, um, Pine Star is what it reminds me of. Uh, I love Pine Star. <laughs> yeah. He's one of my favorites. He was the leader, and he just, like, oh, I'm going to become a kitty pet. <laughs> Did, it makes sense to me. Does he? Ha doesn't he have, like, a novella or something? Oh, does he? I think he might, and I'm going to read it. Oh, wow, I really want to read that, too, you know? <laughs> but that's definitely, I feel like, I wonder, like, when this was written, did the Aarons have in mind that Blue Star's former leader went to be a kitty pet? I feel like probably not. Oh, yeah, because that wasn't, wouldn't have been, like, mentioned in this, in mm -hmm. this part, only in Blue Star's prophecy. But, like, this whole conversation makes a lot more sense if that was already established. Because it really doesn't, it's, like, not totally reasonable otherwise. Right, because, like, Firepaw said, like, of course not. I wouldn't want to leave my clan. Yeah. Blue Star is not accepting it. I need more than that, Firepaw. I need to be able to trust in your loyalty to ThunderClan. Especially now that it looks like ShadowClan is planning an attack. What really more do you need? But then Firepaw does provide more. He sure does. When I saw Smudge today, that's the house cat Tigerclaw saw me talking with. I saw what life would have been like if I'd stayed with the two legs. I felt happy that I had not stayed. I was proud I'd left. He held Blue Star's gaze without flinching. Meeting Smudge made me certain I made the right decision. I could never have been satisfied with the soft life of a kitty pet. That <laughs> eternal phrase. A warrior rejects the soft life of a kitty pet. <laughs> it's very well, she nodded. I believe you. Well, that's all it took. Yeah. Just have to say that. They move on to talking about Yellow Bay. And Firepod's punishment is going to be over, I guess. The queens are apparently going to have to care for her. <laughs> like Yellow Fang's a kid. I'm sure Speckletail's not going to be happy about that. Ooh, no, no, no. Uh, and then Firepod just gets to be a regular apprentice. His punishment is over. Hooray! Not a super harsh punishment. Yeah, it's really not that bad. But it's also not that bad what he did, so... Yeah. <laughs> I guess it fits. Mm-hmm. Blue Star hadn't finished. Firepaw, although you showed bad judgment today in talking to a house cat, Tiger Claw was impressed by your hunting skills. They all did well. In fact, you will come to the gathering, all three of you. Hooray! I yeah. <laughs> awesome. I guess that's probably going to be next chapter. Oh, yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Exciting. I do think it's unfair that he allegedly showed bad judgment in talking to a house cat. Like, why does it matter? This is how clans work, Simon. But I don't understand the logic. A warrior rejects this off life of a kitty pet, okay? But what he did was I don't, he like, did uh... reject it. Nothing he did was n not rejecting it. He was friendly with a kitty pet. That's the same as being a kitty pet. It's not. <laughs> I can't, well, I can't. Ugh. The clan cats are the Winnenims, and the um, kitty pets are the Yahoos. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways. Sandpaw and Dustpaw are not going to the gathering. They're going to remain behind and guard the camp. Boring. Ha ha. Ugh. Firepaw goes back to Gravepaw and Ravenpaw. They're surprised that he 
walked away from Blue Star looking happy. Yeah, because Tiger Claw told them what he saw with a kitty pet. Why did he do that? Hmm. Yes. Whatever. Yeah. He affirms that he does not want to leave. And then Firepot tells them, We're going to the gathering. Oh my god. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Graypaw let out a yowl of delight. He bounded <laughs> up under the tree stump. <laughs> One of his back paws knocked the adder flying. <laughs> it hit Ravenpaw on the head and wrapped itself around his neck. What? I missed this part. <laughs> Ravenpaw spat with alarm and surprise, and then turned on Graypaw. Watch it, he hissed crossly. He shook the adder onto the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did this happen in the book? <laughs> yeah. I like it. And then Firepaw's like, scared of my try to bite you, he teased. And then they just start all play fighting, so Ravenpaw is not actually is still mad. Yeah. <laughs> All three cats tumbled into the dirt and tussled on the ground. I hope it's not that type of dirt. <laughs> it really sucks that they're both the same. <laughs> both the same word. Yeah. But it's really cute how all these cats are, like, play fighting. It's very cute. Yeah, it would make a wonderful movie. It would. <laughs> Wario's movie win. Uh... And if I pause, like, me neither. I can't believe where we're going instead of them. Especially after Tiger Claw saw me with Smudge today. That was just bad luck, answered Graypaw. We caught a load of prey in the assessment. That must be what decided it. Like, I do think they should take the whole, like, their whole recent history into account, rather than the most recent success or transgression, when <laughs> they decide things like that. <laughs> well, what else happened recently? Were they good or bad? Well, we don't really know if Sandflower or Dustfall was good or bad. Although Blue Star did admonish them when they were mocking Firepaw for having to take care of Yellow Fang. Oh, right, yeah. But then obviously Firepaw did bad stuff. <laughs> Two supposedly bad things. Supposedly bad things. And I don't think Graypaw or Ravenpaw did anything bad. Right. Yeah. Sounds like they deserve to go to the gathering. Yes. It will be fantastic, Graypaw replied confidently. I bet all the great warriors will be there. Like Clawface, Stone Fur. <laughs> Clawface? Is he a great warrior? What kind of name is that? I know, right? Who names their kit Claw Kit? <laughs> I know. Like, how did. I bet the leader, like, changed their name, like, Lost Face. Yeah. Is Clawface. Does he have claw marks? Like, wounds uh, on his face? Probably. Scars on his face? Maybe he was called Claw Kit, Claw Paw, and then when he was an apprentice, he got some wounds. On his face or something. Hmm. Yeah. And Stone for that's Blue Star's son. That's right. The deputy, maybe. The deputy? He was the deputy at one point, I think. Oh. Anyway. Well, the previous River Clan deputy just died, right? Oh, Oakheart. Oak yeah. Oh, poor Blue Star. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, Oakheart was... Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. You can already see Blue Star's mental health deteriorating. This is really where it's becoming real. Uh, suddenly, a dark thought entered Firefly's mind. Why had Tiger Claw sent him so near his old haunts? Had he wanted to test him? Could it be the great dark warrior didn't trust his loyalty to ThunderClan? Mm. I mean, I don't know. Does Tiger Claw really distrust, or is he just being rude? I don't know. And that's just a reason, an excuse to be rude. Tiger Claw does love being rude. Yeah. And we, he did want to get Ravenpaw killed, which is why he sent Ravenpaw to the Snake Rock. Yes. Then was Gray Stripes' Grace? Oh, I said Gray Stripe. Gray Paws assignment for any particular reason, or was it just like. I don't think so. Yeah. It was just go, go away and hunt. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Tiger Paws already suspicious that Tiger Claw has like. Ulterior motives now. As he should be. Don't As trust that be. guy. Yes. I don't have anything else to say about this. I don't either, because that's done. the end of the chapter. <laughs> it's finished. Yeah. I do have one more thing to say. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>